Now, DHT could be causing your hair loss. DHT is thought to be one of the leading causes of androgenetic alopecia. But did you know there are a bunch of vitamins and minerals that can help you combat DHT? Well, in this video today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you those exact vitamins and minerals that can help you combat DHT and help improve your healthy hair. And guys, before we get into the video on vitamins and minerals, if you're worried about your own hair loss, you can click the link in the description, upload a quick hair selfie, answer a few short questions, and then you'll get your free hair guard analysis. So the first vitamin that we're gonna look at is niacin or vitamin B3. Vitamin B3 is an essential human nutrient and one which can be found in high quantities in a variety of foods. Its main claim to fame is when it comes to fighting hair loss is its ability to increase blood circulation to the scalp. There are many hair loss causes, but a major factor in your hair's health is its access to a continuous blood flow. When blood flow is restricted, it can lead to brittle hair which easily breaks. This can also compound the effects of DHT as no blood flow means there's no way for chemicals to be removed from the follicle. And did you know that men with early male pattern baldness had subcutaneous blood flow that was 2.6 times less than their healthy counterparts. All of this to say blood flow is critical to hair health and niacin can help, and you're probably wondering how. Well, a common side effect of niacin supplements is flushing. This occurs because niacin is known to dilate the blood vessels and this increases blood flow to the face. Niacin can even reduce the viscosity of blood so it flows more easily through your body. Other benefits of niacin supplementation include anti-inflammatory effects and increased keratin synthesis. So how can you get more niacin in your diet? We recommend foods such as avocado, sunflower seeds, green peas, liver, fish, including fish oils and mushrooms. You can also take a daily niacin supplement, but it's always best to speak with your doctor before doing so. Next, we're gonna look at biotin or vitamin B7. Biotin, also known as vitamin B7, plays a major role in the metabolism of food. It's also been shown to be a major component of the hair, skin and nails, as biotin functions as a protein synthesizer. As keratin, in the protein, as keratin is the protein found within the mentioned three structures, it makes sense that the presence of biotin is important. Are you still unsure of biotin's role in hair health? Well, let's take a look at the effects of biotin deficiency. Biotin is found in abundance in the foods we eat, and it can even be produced by healthy gut flora, excuse me. And even with biotin deficiency being rare, researchers have been able to study its effects. To name just a few symptoms of biotin deficiency, they include seizures, hypotonia, ataxia, nail weakness, dermatitis, and hair loss. And to ensure that you're getting enough biotin in your diet, you want to be including foods such as beef liver, whole eggs, pink salmon, pork chops, sunflower seeds, sweet potato, and almonds. You can even find biotin in a variety of multivitamins, especially those aimed at hair, nail, and skin health. Next, we're gonna look at zinc and selenium. Zinc and selenium are two trace elements that are often discussed together, and for good reason. They're often found together in many cosmetic formulations and both play a critical role in the human body. As antioxidants, zinc and selenium are vital in the fight against free radicals. They protect the skin from aging and keep many cellular processes functioning properly as a result. Interestingly, both zinc and selenium also play a role in the keratinization process. As outlined above, keratin is a protein, and in fact, it's the main protein found within hair. However, proteins aren't just a naturally present within the body, instead, they must be synthesized. This is done through various processes and protein synthesizers such as zinc and selenium help to make this happen. It's not actually necessary to take these vitamins daily as an overabundance of zinc can lead to thinning and hair loss. Though you should speak with your doctor about your nutrient levels and they can prescribe a course of action if it's found that you have a zinc or selenium deficiency. A better course of action is to ingest foods rich in these vitamins and they include oysters, red meats, almonds, pumpkin seeds, wheat germ, egg yolks, and soy products. You can easily add many of these ingredients to a delicious smoothie or make a bone broth that will satisfy your hunger and nutritional needs. Next guys, we're gonna take a look at 
a very important one, magnesium. As a major regulator of biochemical processes within the body, magnesium is a crucial nutrient. It's also been shown to play an important role in hair health and growth. Magnesium is sometimes linked to calcium and here's why. Magnesium is often used to regulate calcium's presence. But calcium is good for you, so why would you want to limit it? This is because too much free calcium within the body can lead to calcium deposits. In people with hair loss, this can even lead to calcification of the scalp. If not treated, this can lead to fibrosis of the tissues, which results in irreversible baldness. Calcium is found in many foods and you may even be getting an oversupply of it from your own water supply. This is why we recommend applying magnesium oil to your scalp directly, whether by itself or mixed with essential oils such as peppermint and rosemary. You can even take a magnesium supplement if you're deficient, though it doesn't need to be taken daily. You should speak with your doctor if you suspect deficiency as well as to find the best treatment plan for you. And now we're going to take a look at vitamin E. Antioxidants play a vital role within the body by ridding it of free radicals. There are molecules which essentially break down the body over time as they steal electrons from surrounding molecules. Perhaps one of the best known antioxidants is vitamin E, and here's why. Vitamin E is actually a generic name for a group of compounds that are known for their antioxidant properties. This group can be further broken down into two, tocopherols and tocotrienols. Tocotrienols in particular have proven beneficial for hair growth and just eight months of supplementation led to a 34.5% hair count increase in the studied area. Vitamin E, especially tocotrienols, is found in a few common foods and these include, include coconut, wheat germ, palm oil, rice bran, olive oil, maize and sunflower seed oil. You can also take a vitamin E as a supplement every day but it's better to look for foods that have high quantities of it. These are absorbed more readily by the body. And now we're gonna look at folic acid or vitamin B9. Folic acid, also known as vitamin B9, is commonly associated with parental vitamins, prenatal vitamins. However, folic acid is important nutrient even for men and non-pregnant women. Folic acid and folate are often confused, but folic acid is the synthetic form of folate. On the other hand, folate is naturally found in foods and is much better absorbed by the body. That's not to say that folic acid cannot be used uh, as it's methylated in the liver and then able to be used throughout the body. But what role does folate and as a result folic acid play? Namely, it synthesizes and repairs DNA while also ensuring its function as it should. This is important for a wide variety of biochemical processes, including hair growth. It's best to consume foods high in vitamin B9 as the majority of this is folate, unless it was intentionally added, then it's folic acid. And foods that have naturally high quantities of vitamin B9 include broccoli, Brussels sprouts, liver, spinach, collard greens, turnip greens, mustard greens, romaine lettuce, asparagus, papaya, oranges, grapefruit, strawberries, raspberries, celery, beets, and squash. And finally, guys, we're gonna have a look at Bringaraja. Although not strictly a vitamin or a mineral, this herb is a well known in Ayurvedic medicine and has anti-aging and anti-inflammatory properties. While these properties alone can be beneficial in the treatment of hair loss, including androgenetic alopecia, it may also block DHT directly. Bringaraja, known by its Latin names Eclipta alba and Eclipta prostrata, is one ingredient in a commonly used Chinese medication to treat androgenetic alopecia. It's called Butop and it's been shown to block DHT and stimulate hair follicle activity. Now, while further research still needs to be performed, especially on Bringaraja alone, its other properties can make it a beneficial addition to your hair care routine. So guys, that's what we wanted to share with you today on vitamins and minerals to help you block DHT. Uh, if you are worried about your own hair loss, don't forget to click the link in the description and don't forget to hit subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.